Well, yeah, hello. Yes. Uh, well, you've just you've just been listening to our conversation off air, but we're on air now. So let me just straight away uh, introduce my guest, Dr. Clemens Apak, is member of Parliament for Busa South. He's member on the Education and Privileges Committee. You heard them talk. Education uh, and Public Accounts Committee. Public Accounts. Great. Uh, also in the studio is Pius Hajide, his former Deputy Information Minister. We're yet to uh, figure out which <laughs> agency he will be taking to. Gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Happy New Year. I think this is the first oh, is time uh, I've come to the studios the whole of this year. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> but it's good. I was recovering sense. from a very vigorous and hectic campaign. So. Uh, was it that hectic for you? I mean, isn't your area like a done deal? No, I, I, was, I, was one of easily the, I was one of the targeted MPs that uh, the current government had determined that I shouldn't return. Why not? Apparently, I'm a pain in the air. But you're such a good material for yeah, parliament. Well, yeah, they don't see it that way, right? Oh, that's so, unfortunate. Uh, there was a concerted effort. In fact, my good friend Pius had assured me on one occasion when uh, we met on a flight uh, to Tamale that uh, I should watch my movement. They are coming after me. Wait, what? what, what? Was no, that an no, assurance no. or that was a threat? It was a threat. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> but, Mami, but, Mami, but you made it. With his usual nice let, smile. Let me, let, me, let me take the opportunity to say good morning to you and to my senior colleague, uh, the Honorable Dr. Apak, and to our cherished viewers. And let me once again assure Dr. Apak that the MPP is going after all the 275 seats in Parliament. <laughs> it doesn't have anything to do with him as a person. We had a parliamentary candidate in his constituency, and we were very supportive of that fine young man who we wanted uh, to take over from Dr. Apak. To all intents and purposes, uh, Dr. Apak is a, is a fine young man, uh, but we believe that the people of uh, Bulsa had a better alternative in the oh, young you, man. You, we you, ah, so you we support, we we supported, we supported, we you supported him. And not because, again, we targeted uh, Bulsa as a seat, but we had our eyes on all the 275 seats. And that's fair for any party. They, why did they con contest, uh, even in the president's home constituency? They contested there too. And so it's fair to contest in every election. Mm. Uh, I'm happy that uh, uh, he's come back to parliament. <laughs> Uh, but I can assure him that it will be his. Are you, his, are you his, saying his that you're happy, you're, happy, you're happy that you failed? No, no, you're happy no, no, that you no, failed? No, no, we didn't fail. I mean, he, he, he just admitted that it was a very difficult contest. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm and so I, I know that, I mean, uh, I'm happy that this is his last term, you know. <laughs> and so, so we'll okay. get there. We'll uh, get there in, we, in we due just course. Started the, we, we just started the four <laughs> years. We're a long way away from that. Uh, that but, is always a good spot, so it's okay. Yeah, but gentlemen, thank you so much for coming. I want us to start off just brief comments on this issue of a caregiver in a school uh, who mistreated an 11 month old baby who was just going to turn one next month by the way uh, that's led to the death of this child the police is handling the matter uh, the caregiver we're told is in police custody uh, assisting with investigations but there's been a statement that was issued over the weekend uh, and I want us to just briefly go through that statement and get some brief comments uh, from my guests. Uh, and this has to do with the circulation of closed second television footage showing force feeding of 11 month old baby at Happy Bloom at school. And it says our attention has been drawn to the circulation of a video extract from a CCTV footage showing a classroom at the Happy Bloom at school in Agboba, North Lagon. The, the said video contains very graphic images of our 11-month-old daughter, uh, who was on Tuesday, May 18, 2021, restrained with both her arms clasped tightly behind her back as she was forcibly fed by Clara Yani Ampa, who was supposed to be her caregiver at the school. Painfully, our daughter died as a result of that encounter. Our daughter was an energetic and bubbly little girl who was looking forward to her first birthday next month losing her this way is a profoundly difficult and painful experience for us we would have wished to mourn privately however given the video is circulating across mainstream and social media we request that the public and the media remain measured in circulating and discussing the video as it is a constant reminder of what our daughter went through 
while the family is steeped in grief over the unfortunate events that led to our daughter's passing and thereafter, we acknowledge the sympathy and kind gestures of everyone. The family will share accurate accounts of events as and when it becomes necessary. Meanwhile, we ask that our privacy is respected as we mourn. And this is signed by the parents of this 11th month old. It's a very heartbreaking um, situation, really, because most of us working mothers are familiar with the routine where you find a very good school. And you have even more confidence when you realize that they have uh, cameras. You know, it's a very nice environment, very few babies, and there are cameras everywhere, and you are sure that they will take care of your baby. But to find that this is eventually what happened, led to her death, uh, is disheartening. It breaks my heart, and it makes you lose confidence. Uh, I, you are men, uh, but thankfully you sit on the education committee. What typically must happen to a school like this? Well, first of all, this uh, issue came as a shock to many of us. Uh, quite frankly, when I had the information initially, I thought it was a hoax uh, until I read it uh, on a number of portals. And indeed, as the parents have indicated, uh, the video was in circulation. So uh, out of curiosity uh, and to satisfy my own quest to ascertain the veracity of the allegation, I watched it. Uh, it is most disheartening, as, as you said. It is shocking. I mean, this is the nightmare of uh, every parent. I mean, no parent I mean, would take your ward or your child to a crutch uh, so that you can have time to earn a living, so to speak, only to be called and told that uh, this, this has happened. Now, given that you are linking this to the educational setup of the country, you know, we have private and public schools. And uh, I think from what I've heard so far, this is likely to be a private uh, educational institution or facility. Uh, usually, before uh, schools are set up, or even when they are set up, we have the uh, inspectorate directorate of uh, the ministry. And uh, they have to go and look at it and uh, ascertain uh, that you have met the requirements before you are given the due authorization of you like a license to be able to, to operate. Uh, depending on the level that you are engaging in to provide the services, whether it is only a crutch, a crutch, a KG, a primary, or uh, a junior high school, the standards of evaluation are different. Uh, but it is clear that this is a school that, at least from the outside and from what we know so far, seems to have put in place the needed mechanisms to ensure that children who uh, are under their care were given the proper treatment and attention. I think that would explain why they had a CCTV mm. in the first place. So that is commendable. But I think perhaps where many are asking questions is the caregiver who is responsible for this uh, occurrence and what factors may have precipitated and whether or not she has been a long-term caregiver serving that institution or new. And if perhaps some background checks have been conducted to ensure that one, she was in the right frame of mind. She had the right uh, attitude. Because I mean, taking care of toddlers is a daunting task. You need to be patient. You need to be tolerant. It is time consuming. And of course, you know, by virtue of their age, they depend solely on others for their survival. So all of these factors come into play. And I think as the investigations go on, a lot of these questions would come to bear. Uh, but be as it may, uh, it's very unfortunate. And I mean, as a father, I have very old kids, some of them at university, second, third year. 
but I have very young kids as well. I mean, my youngest son is uh, just about two and a half years. Why is Pius suddenly turning two to, and half, two and to half you? Years. <laughs> uh, and so I feel the pain of the parents. I mean, my son also goes to crutch. Mm. I mean, he's just two and a half, so he goes to crutch. And so it shakes everyone. Yeah. And, and let me be quick to add that as more and more of our population is moving into the middle class, where both daddy and mommy have to work, the need for these services are only going to grow. And I believe that is what has occasioned this. Otherwise, the traditional setup, where it was usually daddy who goes to work and mommy stays home to look after the kids. Or sometimes you have the benefit of having grandma coming to help. The need for crutch services was not heightened, but it is only going to increase. So perhaps, as unfortunate as this is, it should cause us to rethink and to look at what we can do so that we can avert these kinds of uh, calamitous occurrences. Mm, absolutely. Hans? Yeah. Um, thank you very much, Mama V. I associate largely with uh, the things that the Honorable Clement Park has said. I'd like to begin off by expressing, I believe, our collective uh, a condolence uh, to the bereaved family. It's a difficult moment, and uh, the statement, you could tell from the statement. I mean, uh, this is not a matter that should be treated lightly. And I do believe that the Ghana Education Service uh, that superintends uh, the educational environment uh, in our country should attempt to look into the private space, private education space, a little more than we have done over the years. Uh, we have focused heavily, uh, and sometimes maybe over-focused, on the public sector. Uh, uh, it is important that we begin to pay attention to some of the activities of the players in the private space. Because like has been said, uh, with the growing middle class situation that we are having, more and more uh, working families uh, will, will come up, and then the need for preschool education, crutches and so on, will become uh, even more profound. And so there has to be standards, and there has to be assurances, and there has to be benchmarks, okay? Uh, not just in the infrastructure, because many a times, to be able to come to a conclusion as to whether uh, there is sanity here, or this is a safe space uh, to send my, my child for preschool and to crutches and so on. Many a times we are focused on the infrastructure, mm. okay, the building, the facilities in the building, the ICT infrastructure, but mm -hmm. to a large extent, the capacity, the training, the orientation, the emotional intelligence of the people who are managing the kids are as important as the infrastructure. And this brings into, into question the issue of teacher certification in general and teacher certification for such a specialized field as preschool. It's a very technical area. It's not because you are looking at uh, people who we describe in education as uh, tabula rasa. They are empty slates. So what we do with them at that stage is what imprints in them for the rest of their lives. And so we should pay particular care to preschool and early childhood uh, development. And so teacher certification, that's why some of us were alarmed when the issue of the licensure was brought up so that the teacher can be regularly assessed and reassessed, emotional intelligence assessed, uh, uh, and uh, all of those matters brought to bear. Uh, some of our colleagues, uh, especially on Dr. Akam, uh, Apak's uh, side, uh, were up in arms. But I think that we should even expand this to cover uh, uh, practitioners even in the private space. It shouldn't just be for the, 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 the uh, public schools alone. And so uh, we can only sympathize with the family at this time. We understand that the matter is under investigation. Mm -hmm. We will encourage the police to conduct prompt and fair uh, investigations into this matter. 
and anybody who is found uh, culpable, anybody who has had a hand in the unfortunate demise of this uh, little 11 month year old uh, baby uh, should be punished. I mean, I think that this would not be a substitute. It cannot assuage the feelings of the parents, but it will go a long way, uh, at least in mitigating the pain that they will be feeling uh, at this point, knowing that uh, people who may have uh, acted either negligently or willfully uh, in the unfortunate death of their of their child mm -hmm. have been held accountable and, and punished. Uh, we are sad. Um, just yeah. a, a quick point. I, I think I, I by and large agree with him, except that, of course, as always, you know, Pius, he tried to take a quick swipe uh, at us. The li licentious yeah. exam bits. Yeah. But, but, but I think the two are unrelated, by oh. and large. Teacher uh, certification? This is a caregiver. Yeah, but and, they should, they, they uh, there is to nothing be to indicate that this is somebody who is a professionally trained teacher. I think all of these will come to the fore when the investigation is done. Uh, but I agree with I you. I thought that was an example. Yes. No, no, it's but I agree with you. I agree with you that, that in principle, yeah. even if it was the case that we were not paying attention, we ought to, given what has occurred. So, I wanted to correct. But you're not the, against the exam, the, the, though. The, the, the political angle. Okay. And then it's not, it's, it's, it's not as if your side is against that exam. No, 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 no. certainly not. 